you know like the middle east there is a lot of war there is a lot of problems over here you know like look at syria and egypt and all of them they are you know like in a big trouble so we just like for sure we have to support them and you give them like much love you know because they have in real trouble and even like if you see some egyptian dancing or some syrian dancing you know i feel really happy for them you know because they take all the stress out and they start coming to the floor and they show you some some tricks some moves even it's copying or no but it's fine for me you know in Kuwait and uh, especially in Saudi underground jams happening all the time and they they keep lookouts even one kilometer away from the jam to look out for the religious police and then pack up all their, their stuff and like and go basically um, as soon as the religious police show up with a van to arrest everyone so these this kind of environment it's it really represents the kind of the side of hip-hop that a lot of people have lost now that it's become kind of homogenized and commercialized it's so important to have uh, an identity that's rooted in what the culture is in the region because every culture actual you know indigenous culture of a region has its own musical and dance traditions and so there's a lot of things that uh, can be used as inspiration and I think that a lot of the b-boys here uh, haven't really embraced that yet. They're, they're too busy trying to imitate what other people internationally are doing instead of really representing their own culture, which is what I'd like to see more of.